I I don't know if you can tell from my voice right now, but I'm pretty sick. A vile harbinger of disease. Don't worry, it's not COVID. Everything's fine, but if you want to make me feel better, the only thing that'll make me feel better is to smash that subscribe button. <laughs> Being sick has made me think about a lot of things, like what it's like to breathe. I remember when being sick used to be awesome. You would get sick, go to the nurse's office, parents would pick you up, your mom will make you soup, and you'd get to watch cartoons or something for the rest of the day. Now, at least for me, getting sick is like, well, I have to work and be sick. Who set up a sit? This is a scam. The world should not be this way. Uh, there should be a service that's like when you're sick somebody comes over and they make you soup and they tuck you in and give you a little kiss on the head and they put on a movie and they say Are you cozy you go yeah i'm cozy <laughs> anyway the worst time that i've ever gotten sick was probably appendicitis i already made a video about that though so the other more recent bad time that i got sick was about a year ago now when i was starting to feel very tingly in my appendages and i'm like huh that's probably the worst thing possible let's google everything it's the worst thing possible i knew it so i made a doctor's appointment and i go into the doctor i talk to them about my symptoms and all these things and they're like is it covid and i'm like no i got many tests and then they asked me some questions took my temperature and then they were like i don't know and i'm like okay just come back if it gets worse and i did and then the next doctor that i see was like i don't know and i'm like okay and they're like well let's recommend you to a neurologist because it could be a problem with your brain and then i go to that doctor and they're like well i don't know what it is either but we should scan your skull and spine and i'm like well why don't we just start with that it's been weeks of these symptoms and i'm just sitting here just <laughs> why don't we start with that and so she's like, good news. We're not scanning a ton of people right now. We might be able to get you in today. I'm like, oh, this is good. She leaves for a little bit. She comes back. She's like, oh, I'm sorry. I totally forgot. We have to. And then she said some word that I totally can't remember. But it's the process that she's like, we have to do this process. And what the process is, is she has to go to the insurance company and says, do we have permission to do this procedure on the patient? And then the insurance company gives the green thumb. I'm sorry. Why is that real? I could be melting from the inside out. And the insurance company, who is filled with 0% doctors, is going to be like, maybe, no. I have to wait an additional week for this stupid process to pass. What, is, what the heck? <coughs> Next time you need help, and for some reason need my help specifically, I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to wait a week for you. Just kind of, sorry, I'm, I don't know if you could tell, I'm kind of bitter about it. <clears throat> anyway, I get approved, and so we move on. So I'm ready to get a scan for my skull and spine. It's inside of an MRI machine. They're like, are you claustrophobic? Uh, maybe a little bit. I guess we'll figure out while I'm in there. They're like, okay, cool. This is gonna take about one hour. And that made me a little nervous because I'm a really restless person. At all times, I have to be moving, whether it be moving my legs, moving my wrists, rubbing my feet together like a little cricket in my bed. I don't know why. I haven't really looked into why that is. And so I was a little bit nervous. But they put on, they put, give you like these little headphones and then they're like, do you like classical music or jazz music? And I'm like, oh, let's do jazz music. And then you go into the tube and it's really, really tight. And it's kind of freaky. But the jazz music actually helps a little bit. I did surprisingly well. We got all the scans done. We only needed to redo one of them because I kind of twitched my head at one point after I was suppressing for so long. And I come out, they say, okay, we're going to look at these. We're going to see what's up. And then we're going to tell you. I'm actually like really freaked out because at this point we're thinking, oh, a brain scan, the thing that's the most delicate part of your body. And they have to look at it and see if something's wrong with that that's kind of freaky so we wait and then the results come back the results were brain scan unremarkable <laughs> okay i think technically i understand that that's a good thing but you didn't have to say it like that spine scan also unremarkable i came up clean so what the heck is wrong with me turns out we never found out i spent thousands and thousands upon dollars waiting ultimately to amount to i don't know what it is and then eventually the symptoms went away <laughs> Great. What's the moral of the story here? <coughs> I don't know. Thanks for watching. <coughs> <coughs>